guys, it's Friend with Kindred Acres. And so tonight I was going through my camera, just looking through old pictures and videos, and I came across one that was really interesting to me that I wanted to upload. Um, so for those of you that have followed us for a while on Facebook, I'm sure you've seen some videos where I've posted of uh, how Kali is so connected to nature creatures, and um, it's often amazing to me how she can just get herself into such a calm and connected state of mind and heart uh, that the she would call to a butterfly and it would just come land right on her and she would feel perfectly grounded and connected and the butterfly would be completely content sitting right on her. So anyway, um, so I came across this video uh, of her calling to the hoverfly and I recalled that day where we were both standing over by the frog bog and there were we were looking for the frogs and there was a hoverfly over on the lantana bush and she wanted it to land on her so she stuck both her hands out and she took a deep breath and she stayed calm and she called to the hoverfly and it came right over to her and it landed on her and started drinking little rain droplets because it was drizzling that day so it started drinking rain droplets off of her finger and uh, it stayed on her and around her for a few minutes it was quite amazing and um, and you know we've had encounters where we would both sit and call to a hummingbird or the dragonflies and we'd be surrounded by dragonflies it was it's pretty cool but um, so it just prompted me to want to talk about that a little bit how important it is for us to uh, to get to that state of mind and heart to where we're connected and grounded and to where we're still and just be still with nature and be still with your garden and it opens you up to this whole new world and this whole new space. It's just completely amazing. Uh, but I also wanted to talk about the hoverfly itself. And uh, the reason I wanted to bring this up was because hoverflies are actually a pollinator. And it's probably one of the less talked about or less known pollinators. Um, and they're really good to have around. They're harmless to people. They look like a little wasp, kind of like a small wasp. but. It's not a wasp at all. It's in the fly family, so it doesn't have a stinger. It's not going to sting you. It does pollinate, and certain species actually eat smaller insects like aphids and spider mites. So they're really good to have around because they keep the pest population in control, and they also help pollinate. So um, check out this video, though, of Kalia calling over to the hoverfly and how he just comes and hangs out with her for a bit. And I hope that you all can take a moment tomorrow or sometime this week to get yourself in a calm, connected space with your garden and talk to your plants, talk to nature creatures, and get yourself there, not just for yourself, but for your garden's sake as well. Uh, and maybe even look around for some hoverflies, see if you can find any in your garden. So thank you for checking it out, and here goes that video. I think what happens when you call to nature, she asks him to visit, <clears throat> and she's being very still and honoring his space, and look, he came right to her. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> look at that, so cute. I know. He's drinking little water droplets off of you. <laughs> it looks like he's just sucking my finger. <laughs> it's just a little hoverfly. Mm. 